Hey visionaries, happy new year. Let's light up 2019. See what I did there? <clears throat> to create the 2019 graphic, I will open a light motion and create a new project. I'm going to choose 16 by 9, 1080p at 30 frames per second, and then tap create. The first thing I need to do is create a background for my project. So I'll tap the plus icon and add a shape layer. I will choose a rectangle. Then I am going to scale up the shape to fill the screen. I can unlink the width from the height to increase the width only. Then I will go back to the color and fill menu and I will choose a radial gradient for the fill. I have to adjust the endpoints of the gradient to create my background. I want to create something like the look of a spotlight hitting the floor. Then I will tap on the colored squares to change the colors. The first color will be a dark blue. Then on the other side, I'll choose a similar color, just a little lighter. That might still be a little too dark, so I'll brighten it a little bit more. When you are happy with the look, you can add a text layer. Tap the plus icon, then text. I will start by centering my text. Then I will choose a new font. And I'm going to choose white for the color, just so it's a little easier to see while we type this out. Now I will type 2019. And I will stretch out this text box so I can increase the size of the font. 112 looks about right. Now I want to add an effect to this layer. I will swipe over to the edge column and then choose the contour gradient option. In the options menu, I'm going to set the fill to 0%. I'm also going to reduce the width a little bit. Then I will make color 2 a dark gray. and change color 1 to a lighter gray. Okay, before we get too far, I want to lengthen the duration of these layers to make room for my animation. I'll swipe to the end of the timeline, then select my rectangle shape, and drag this handle at the end to 4 seconds. Then I will tap on this tab to select my layer, and tap the trim button to bring the end of this layer out to 4 seconds as well. Now I will select my text and press the duplicate button. To keep things organized, I will label the original layer 2019 outline off, since this will be my text before it is lit up. The new copy, I will label 2019 Shadow. Then I will swipe down on the control pad to move the new copy below the original. Tap over to the scale menu and tap the chain link to unlink the width from the height. Then make the height smaller, which has the effect of making the text look like it's laying flat on the floor. Navigate to the Blending and Opacity menu, and change the Blend Mode to Soft Overlay. And I will go to the Effects menu, swipe over to the Blur column, and add a Fast Box Blur to the shadow. Just for my own organization again, I'm going to long press on the right side of the shadow layer, and drag it below the outline layer on my timeline. Then I will long press the tab on the left side of the layer, and press the duplicate button to make a new copy. I will label it 2019 Outline On. 
In the effects menu, I will change the colors of the gradient for this copy. Color 2 will be a light blue color. And color 1 will be a very light blue, almost white. Now I want to animate the opacity of this layer, but the contour gradient effect isn't affected by the layer's opacity the way I want. A workaround for this is to put the layer in its own group. So I'll long press the tab on the left, and then tap the group button. Then I can animate the opacity. I will start at 15 frames, add a keyframe, and drop the opacity slider to zero. Then I will move one second down the timeline and bring the opacity back up to 100%. Then press this arrow to jump back to the first keyframe. Next, I want to add an effect to the layer. Navigate to the effects menu and swipe over to the opacity slash visibility column. Then choose pulse opacity from the list. I will increase the frequency of the effect. Then tap to select the strength property and add a keyframe. Then I will scrub down to the 2 second mark and drop the strength to 0. Now if I scrub through the animation, you can see the blue text flicker a bit as the opacity increases. Alright, next I want to add a glow around the text. To do this, I will duplicate the layer again. I will call this one Glow. Then go to the effect menu and add the fast box blur. That already looks pretty good, but for a bit more punch, we can change the blend mode to linear dodge. Now guess what I'm going to do. That's right, make another copy. I will call this one spill because I'm going to be creating the spill light on the floor underneath the text. Tap over to the move and transform menu and swipe down on the control pad to move the layer. Then go to the scale menu and squeeze down the height. Then, so it's not quite so bright, I will reduce the value of the last opacity keyframe for this layer. Scrubbing through the timeline, things are looking pretty good now. But there's one more thing we can do to sell the effect of the text lighting up. This time I will make a copy of my background layer. I will call the new copy Flash. Then in the effects menu, I will add the exposure slash gamma effect. And I want to increase the exposure on this new layer to simulate the room brightening up when the text lights up. I want this brighter background to animate on as the text lights up, so I'm going to use the same pulse opacity effect. I will copy it from the text group, tap on the layer, and go to the effect. Tap the menu icon and choose Copy Effect. Then select the flash layer and go to the effects menu. Tap the menu icon here and choose Paste Effect. That takes care of the flicker, but now I have to animate the opacity to match the text as well. Go to Blending and Opacity, and put the first keyframe at 15 frames. Then drop the opacity to zero. Scrub to one and a half seconds, and bring the opacity back up to 100%. Now look at that background light up. The last thing I want to do is add a little movement to this animation. I will long press the tab on the top layer and drag straight down to select all the layers. Put everything in one group so we can animate them together. In the move and transform menu, I will select scale. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Scrub to the end of the timeline and scale everything up. Let's play that back to see how it looks. Oh, 
Okay, I better wrap this up sometime before 2020, but thank you for watching to the end. I'm looking forward to bringing you more Alight Motion tutorials in 2019, so be sure to subscribe. And if you want to download this project, there's a link in the description below.